I've known Mike for going on 50 years. Uh, from the first day I walked into a metallurgy class and, and he walked into one, I can't think of anyone more deserving. From his contributions to the industry, uh, many don't know that he has a bachelor's in metallurgy, a master's in instrumentation physics, and a PhD in mining. So he's uh, very diverse in his knowledge base. And I've gone to him many, many times over our careers for help in, in different areas. And frankly, he's one of the most brilliant guys I know. I've known Mike for probably 20 years. Uh, he's a man of uh, high ethics, uh, well, well respected in the industry, uh, both uh, not only by uh, industry leaders, by, but also by his, his academic peers. I've worked with his students, had his students work for me over the years, and uh, they all just rave about Mike as a, as a teacher. Uh, I think he's probably one of the most caring professors. He bends over backwards to help his students. He helps them when they get out of school. It's like they remain friends their entire time after leaving, leaving the university. The first time I met Dr. Nelson was in 2007. At that time, I was a haul truck operator at Kennecott, and I had gotten the crazy idea that I wanted to become a mining engineer. So armed with only my GED, I went and I met with Dr. Nelson. As a non-traditional student, working a full-time job and raising a family, he knew the challenges ahead of me better than I did. But if he had any doubts in me, he never let me see them. Because of Dr. Nelson, um, I, I graduated <laughs> from, from college with a mine engineer degree. He was extremely helpful um, and motivating, had plenty of time for me and the other students. Um, extremely genuine, extremely knowledgeable. So uh, that, that was pretty inspirational for me to, uh, I went back to school when I was in my mid forties. So to keep me motivated and to teach me new things at that point was, was pretty hard. So I greatly appreciate everything he's done for me. I have never met someone as equally impressive, smart, and grounded as Dr. Nelson. It is not that common to have professors who shape our intellect, interest, and life in general, but Dr. Nelson does just that. He's one of those professors that not only has the academic credentials, uh, but also the practical in industry experience. And uh, many times you have one or the other, but not both. So Mike is somewhat unique. And it just helps us realize and understand real world scenarios and perspective of what happens in the actual mining industry. Because in school, you're taught theory and not everything works in theory. Um, so by providing that experience and wisdom to the engineering students, he is creating such an amazing higher level of mining engineer that's coming out of the university that we're more prepared and we're more successful, which in my opinion is what the gold standard of a professor should be. And it doesn't matter where I go in the world if I start talking and, and I'm with the mining group and we're talking about uh, what's going on in their minds. Even me being a metallurgist, you know, they go, oh, University of Utah. Do you know Professor Nelson? <laughs> so he's, he's known well outside the boundaries of Utah and uh, across the world, really. Given his academic credentials, he has degrees in both metallurgical engineering and mining engineering and advanced degree in mining. So he's very, very highly educated. Uh, in fact, he's so highly educated, Harry Truman would have referred to him as an overeducated son of a bitch, if I can be so blunt. He's written letters to help me get scholarships, um, wrote letters to help me get into Canada so I could work there. Um, yes, I've presented letters from Dr. Nelson to the Canadian government. <laughs> when considering all of Dr. Nelson's outstanding service and achievements, not only is he an amazing scholar and leader, he is also a caring educator and friend. And I can honestly say that he is one of the great supporters in my life. And I know that many of the students at the University of Utah feel the same way. He's always there to listen. He's always there to guide you. And he's always there to believe in you. 
Thank you for all the support and guidance you've given me throughout my time at the U and helping me start the Mine Rescue Team. Because of you, I've now developed a passion for Mine Rescue and have continued in doing Mine Rescue even into my career, so thank you. Dr. Nelson, congratulations. No one deserves it more than you. Yeah, congratulate him on the honor and I congratulate Utah Mining for making a great decision. And congratulations, Dr. Nelson. It's been a pleasure, and I'm sure we will cross paths again soon. And thanks for coming to see my band. That's awesome. Congratulations, Dr. Nelson, on receiving this award. You truly deserve it. Again, congratulations, Dr. Nelson. You have well earned this award. On behalf of all your students, Dr. Nelson, we thank you for caring, for taking us in just as we are, and for seeing what we could grow into. I'd like to thank the Utah Mining Association for giving me this award. I've had a long and, and rewarding life in the mining industry. I'm grateful to my grandfather, Carl Nelson, who worked underground. I'm also grateful to my dad, who became a high school band teacher uh, by working in the Park City Mines on the weekends and during vacation. I really appreciate the education I received at the University of Utah and West Virginia University and the many wonderful people I've worked with in the mining industry. I always find uh, mining people to be very genuine, to the point, and uh, uh, strictly honest, and uh, they don't hesitate to express their opinions, and I'm grateful for that. So once again, thank you to everyone, and also thankful, thank you to my wife who has supported me and helped me through many years of school and work. Thanks again.